In this video, we'll be talking about SheetCam and the ways in which we can export files from within SheetCam software into Optimum CNC plasma cutting software. So here, I already have SheetCam open in front of me. I have imported some part, which for me consists of a square with a circle within it. I have created a tool, which is a plasma cutting tool with a certain tool number and values such as the feed rate, which in my case is 60 inches per minute, which will be important later. And I've created a plasma cutting operation for this tool. So now let's briefly talk about the ways in which we can export this file. There are two main ways which we'll be touching upon. One of them is to essentially encode all of the information about this file, such as its feed rate, within the exported G-code file. So we have a CAM software, we create the feed rate within it, such as, in our case, this uh, tool number one with a uh, feed rate of 60 inches per minute. We export this file from within SheetCAM, and we have a certain value within this uh, file that is encoded. So when Optimum CNC sees this file, it sees that it should be running at 60 inches per minute. Another method would be to not encode any sort of a feed rate within the exported file, but rather to rely on Optimum CNC's built-in cut charts functionality. If you don't know what cut charts are, please consult the Optimum CNC Plasma Manual or the cut charts video where we also covered this topic. But briefly, these cut charts allow us to select a number of cutting parameters based on the process, on the material, material thickness, and the current. Why is this more convenient? Well, it's more convenient because it's a lot more customizable, and all of these values are already available within the Optimum CNC software. However, there's no right or wrong answer here. Certain operators prefer to encode this feed rate within SheetCam, while others prefer to utilize the cut charts functionality within Optimum CNC. For this reason, there are two post processors within SheetCam that accommodate both of these methods. Let us start with the first, which is to simply assign a feed rate of 60 within SheetCam and export the file with that feed rate. So here, if we go into our options and into our machine settings, and within it our post processor, we can see that we have a way to choose the post processor. Here, I already have the Optimum CNC CAM tools and Optimum CNC cut charts post processor available to me. If you don't have them within this list, you can import your post processor by clicking the import post button and then navigating to the folder where it is located. For me, they are located in the home folder with the .sc post file name extension. After you have imported them by clicking the open button, you can then select them from within the post processor list. So let's start with the CAM tools post processor. This, as I've mentioned, is the one that will allow us to essentially write the feed rate within SheetCAM and then export it that way. So we click the OK button and we click the file run post processor. Let us call this file something like square and circle 001 and just so we remember what it is we'll call it sheet count because we are basing our tool cutting parameters such as the feed rate and other speeds on sheet cam. We click the save button we have successfully run this process, click OK, and then when we go into Optimum CNC and import this file, which is available right here, if we go into our G-code tab and scroll through this file, we can see that we have this F60 marking right here. So that will tell the software what speed to use, and as you can see, it's using the uh, 60 inches per minute as we've specified within SheetCam. 
So if we run this file, we should see that our speed is uh, 60. Okay, so now let's go over the second method. We can go back into our Sheetcam software. We don't have to change this file at all. So for instance, our tool can still be uh, this tool right here with a specified feed rate, etc. Pierce delay, pierce height. Uh, and uh, what we'll do simply is we'll go into our options, machine, post processor, and switch this to cut charts. So we click OK again, and we click the run post processor button. Let's name it something else, O2 cut charts. And once we've run it, let's head back into Optom CNC, click the import button, locate this file, here it is. And if you scroll through it, you'll notice that we don't have the F60 codes anymore because they are not needed. The system will simply base the speed of the machine on the plasma cutting cut charts. What is the speed for us here? Well, it can be whatever we want from this plasma tab. So for instance, let's say we select some mode. Here, the speed may be 48 inches per minute. And we have successfully imported this into the Optom CNC software now. So now, when we go back and we press the play button, the system will begin at a, moving at a speed of 48 inches per minute instead of 60. Then, if we are, for instance, using a different material, maybe this will be not mild steel, but stainless steel, where the speed is actually 40, and we load that into our system. Then if we uh, reset this file and run it again, we should see that the speed has now dropped to 40. As you can see, the second method is a lot more customizable based on the plasma cut charts with an Optom CNC. However, both methods are valid and both can be used. Thank you for watching.